Welcome back, friends. I'm starting off with this photo. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into edit and I'm actually going to increase the brightness a little bit and increase the whites. All right, now that we've got that out of the way, I'm going to create another page. And on this page, I'm going to add some text. In this text, I'll type touchdown. I'm going to make that a little bit larger, like that. And I'm going to add a rectangle on my workspace. I'll place it right behind touchdown. I'm going to be creating an overlay. For the text, I'm going to change it to white. And for the background, I'm going to change it to black. I'll go to share. I'm going to download this. I only want page two. And I'll download. I'm going to add another page, bring that back in. And I'm going to remove the background so that the area behind the letters is transparent. So let's give that a look. And yes, it did work. Perfect. All right. Going to make that a little bit bigger for our next step. And I'll just crop that slightly. I'm going to start off by grabbing my picture here. I'll take a copy and I'll bring it down here and paste it. I'm going to make this a little bit larger like this. All right, I'm going to grab this photo and I'm going to remove the background. And I'm going to move the photo behind my text. So I'll go to position and layers and I'll grab it and I'm just going to move it right behind my text. I'm going to create another page for our next step. For this step, I'm going to add some text on my workspace. And in this text, you can write anything you want, but I'm going to write touchdown in all caps. I'm going to bring this text right up here. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. I find I found that smaller is better for this effect. So I'll just duplicate this text all the way across. And I'm now going to grab all of that and just move it like that. And I'll take a copy and then just stagger the text so it doesn't look like they're all layered one on top of another. I'll grab everything here and I'll take a copy and I'll just layer that right there. And I'll just keep copying it all the way down. Now, I probably should change the color at the beginning, but it's no big deal. I'll just grab everything here. I'll go to text color and I'm going to change the color to a burgundy. Now, burgundy isn't an option here, so I'll just choose the red. I'll go to add a color and I'll just change that little slider until I get the color that I want. So that's pretty good. Now, I found with designing this poster that it's best to have a colored background. So I'm going to go to position and layers and I'm going to I'll go all the way down to the bottom to my background and I'm going to change the color and I'll make it a gray color like this. I'm going to come to share and I'm going to download this. I only want the current page, so I'll click download and that will download. I'm going to come back up here to this page right here. I'm going to grab my downloaded text that's now been converted to an image. I'm going to grab that and I'm going to place that in my over my overlay like this. I'm going to take a copy and I'll just put the other one right here beside it. And I'm going to take both of those and I'm going to move them in behind my 
overlay and in behind my football players like that. Now I'm going to grab the first one and I'm going to crop it so it's sitting behind that black overlay. I'll do the same for that second one like that. Now we can either leave it like this and download it like this, or if you want, you can also add some images in the text there, either, either underneath the whole text, you can alternate text, whatever you like. I'm going to go to elements and I'm going to grab a couple of pictures. I'll just grab some random pictures and put them in behind there to show you what I mean. So here is one. It's a funny picture of someone taking a uh, selfie, but that's now when you're doing this, just make sure you're cropping them all at the same length. And I'll do one more. Now for these two, I'm just going to add some rectangles. And I'll place them like my photos, but they're going to end up behind the football player. And they'll be the same size as the photos as well. And this one I'm going to make blue. I'll grab this one. I'll put that one there as well. All right. So we're now going to take these and we're going to move them behind the overlay and behind the football players. So let's go to position and layers and let's grab all the photos and we're going to move them behind the football player. Players. Okay, so now they're behind the football players. Now is the time for you to look at the pictures to make sure that you can see people's faces. If you can't see people's faces and you need to move them around, then just hover over the photos and select the one you want. And then you can just move it to a position that you need. Just don't forget to crop it so that they're all evenly cropped all the way across. Okay, so I'm going to move this blue box. It's time to take that overlay and change it to the color white. So, so we're going to select edit. We're going to go to duotone. We're going to select the custom feature and we're going to change both the shadows and highlights to white. It's now time for us to download this and I'm going to download it like this. If you want to get rid of the top part of the image of the football players, then all you need to do is just crop it like that and then download it like this. I'm going to actually leave the football players in there because then it'll be easier for me to create in the next step. So I'm going to leave it there. So I'll come to share, download, and I'm only going to download page three 
So I'll select download. I'll create another page. And once that's finished downloading, I'm going to bring it back into Canva like this. Now, don't forget, it still has all that overlay background in there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come back up to the top. I'm going to grab this image. I'm going to copy it and bring it down to this page right here. I'm going to paste that image here. I'm going to remove the background. I don't need the background. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to try and lay the image on top directly on top of the original football players. Now this might get kind of tricky. Sometimes what I do is I make the layer on top a little bit transparent so that I can perfectly overlay it on top. I seem to have gotten it. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna create our pop-out. We've got our original download and we've got that additional image of the football players on top of our download. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our football players and we're gonna crop that image from top to bottom. So there it is right there with the guys popping out of touchdown. And if we zoom all the way in, if you want this to go a little further down for um, them connecting into the letters, then you can do that as well. Now this does get a little tricky because where do you stop with this pop out? What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make a duplicate of this. I'm going to try and layer the two images one on top of another. And then what I'm going to want to do is have the foot coming out. OK, so and remember, for each pop out, you might need a separate image. That is a trick. So I'm going to crop this because I don't need the top part, but I do need the bottom part. So I'm going to extend this bottom part like that. But I'm going to hide the part in between so that we see only the foot coming out. So I'm going to crop that out like that. Now, if your images aren't exactly layered one on top of another, then now's your chance to kind of move them and to have them fit right on top of another. Like that. Now, you don't have to have these feet popping out at all. That's totally up to you whether you want to do that or not. I'm going to make a duplicate of this page because I want to offer another option And I'm going to remove that pop out on the bottom. So we have this option with the feet popping out. We have this with no pop out. And I'm going to make a, another duplicate of this. We're going to go back up and we're going to grab our original image. This was our original image. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to bring it down here. I'm going to paste it here and I'm going to layer it right on top or try to layer it right on top. And I'm going to grab that text. I'm going to make it red. I'll go to effects. I'm going to choose the hollow option. And I'm going to make that a little bit thinner. Like that. Now, don't forget this background is not transparent. If I add a grab gray background, we're going to notice that I still have that white background from when I recently downloaded it. If you don't want that background, then you, you can remove the background and now it'll be ready for sublimation or DTF. So there are three different options here. The one where the pop out is coming out from the bottom, 
the one where it's not, and then the one with this outline. I want to hear from you, which one do you like best? I know this was kind of a more challenging tutorial. If you learned anything in this tutorial, press the like button, subscribe, and turn that notification bell on. If there's anything else that you want to learn, I do have a tutorial request form. Just fill it out and I'll take a look at what you want to learn. If you want to know more about my live classes, just ask me down in the comments and I'll give you more information. For now, my friends, I'm going to say bye-bye. Until next time.